Hi everyone, it's been a minute. Yes, your girl got some stuff to talk about, so let's get into it. Hey guys, so you know, um, it's been so long since I did a video. Oh my goodness, it's been a minute. I I keep telling myself that I'm going to sit down and do a video and just update y'all on everything. Everybody's always asking what's been going on, what's been going on, what's been going on. So, you know, I just was never right after my mom died. So I'm back. You know, my brother helped remind me that um, you're never really the same anymore. It's all about just getting through it. And if you hear my son in the background, baby, you know, you always a mama. And he just right here. Do, 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 do. He don't want nothing. Don't want nothing. Just do, 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 do. But I'm going to try to see if I can remember where I stopped it um, and just see what's been going on. So, you know, my brother got shot. So, my brother moved in with me. And you know me. <laughs> you know, moving in, baby. I'm grown. I don't really do the little spend at night thing. So, you know, I probably wasn't going to last long on the moving in thing. But, you know, I was like, it's my brother. He got shot. So, you know, let me move in. And, um, you know, I, he stayed here till I got him back up on his feet and stuff like that. And you know, then you got you got to you got to get the pushy, buddy. You got to get the pushy. Now it wasn't that simple. He really got put out. But you know, we are gonna fast forward that. That's his story to tell. But he got put out. But I made sure that he was up on his feet before he got put out. But we still be talking and stuff like that. He know it ain't no bad business because you know I don't be beefing with nobody. People really be beefing with me, but I don't be beefing with him because <laughs> you know peace. It's my peace over here. So, you know, in this house, it is peaceful. In my life, it is peaceful. So, anybody else who didn't think of, yeah, baby, I'm enjoying this little lifestyle up over here, this little peaceful lifestyle. So, yeah, you got to go. So, you know, so brother moved in. Now, behind him, get shot. Baby, I don't know what to tell y'all. That's his business. I don't know if he lying, telling the truth, stick to the story, a man. But all I know is somebody shoot me. I'm telling every god doggone thing you're going to jail. You're going to jail. But, you know, that's his story. Tell. That's his business. Me as a sister, even though I'm a younger sister, you know, got him on his feet. And then y'all seen all the videos, me cooking him, showing him love and everything through all this healing process. And, you know, like I said, we're still in communication. We're good up on that end. Now, baby, let me tell y'all about y'all internet nephew car. I'm driving down the road. He said, Mommy Sonic. We passed by Sonny, got the little playground. I said, baby, it's what I saw. We can't play, and it's about to be dark, so we can't play. But he was like, okay, slushy. And so we go through drive through and um, he's like, he want fries and cranberry slushy. So I'm driving through and get the fries and the cranberry slushy. Now, y'all know it don't take that long to make fries and then to make cranberry slushy. And don't ask me why he drink cranberry slushy. I don't know. Just like he eat thin crusts, baby. I don't know. He's an old soul, probably from his mama. I don't know. Because I don't even drink it like that. But he like it, okay? So, we driving through, you know, get the food and stuff. And I turn around for the girl to give it to him. No, man. Why is this baby in the back seat? Whole right side of his face. Whole left side. Everything just shaking and he twitching. I about lost my mind. Now, out of all my medical experience, I done gained. Baby, I, when it comes to my child, I was about to lose everything. I, I almost... I almost forgot every got doggone thing that I've ever freaking learned. I kid you not. I almost did, but it didn't get me. Thank God I didn't panic like that. But I was like, God dang, what's wrong with him? You know, so uh, immediately, immediately uh, got out the way, jumped out the car, went to his side, baby. Call, I was calling ambulance and everything, honey. I was calling 911 because I don't know why this baby just started twitching like that. What is going on? So after that, it's just been nothing but hospital visits, neurology visits, just everything. They still never got to the bottom of it, of exactly what it is. So we do have an MRI coming up. Um, Then we got, a, then we got some dental work coming up. And I'm going to get to that in a second. Let me tell y'all about that dental work. So I'm trying to catch y'all up on every single thing that's been going on in my life since I last started posting. You know, I'm working on me still, on still um, being this new person and getting back to this creative side of me that I really uh was getting into. So bear with me, <laughs> you know, so 
So I'm happy that I came out and did this video. But make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram and everywhere else just in case I don't post the video. The rest of that experience is just... I'm just trying to figure out what was going on with everything. Um, you know, we went to the neurologist visit. They did MRIs. Um, then we had to do another MRI. Let me tell you about that. So the first MRI, they was talking about 1800 so I'm like, okay, 1800 pay the 1800 go upstairs and stuff. The first test is 45 minutes altogether. After 45 minutes, baby, we see the neurologist right after that. They say, um, well, we didn't see anything on this one, so we're going to have to do the 24-hour test. Baby, did I just pay y'all 1800 and y'all going to tell me that y'all can't find nothing out in this 40 minute one? Then y'all going to suggest the 24-hour one? Why y'all didn't do that at first? Why, why, oh my goodness, Lord, do you know how mad I was about that 1800? Baby, me and my son, we could, we could do some things with that 1800, baby. And before the 1800, you got to think about it, uh, we've been going, going to cook children anyways. And then now I guess since y'all don't like paying y'all bills, they want all their money up front for certain stuff like MRIs and different stuff like that. They want all their money up front. Only when you go to the doctor, you can do payment plans. But as as far as all this other stuff that we got going on um you got to pay everything up front so even before then i was paying medical bills after medical bills dealing with his ears ear nose and throat all of them want their money up front baby so uh just doing his ears he had a set of ear tubes that fell out then something was going on with his uh eardrums so they fixed all of that so i'm like i dang i just paid y'all five thousand back in february for the ear tubes how in the world they come out of place in, le in less than six months. And so I go up and, and I kid you not. I said, uh, you know how car got warranty on that baby? Do them ear tubes got warranty? Because, baby, they fell out less than six months. I shouldn't have to pay for no new ones. They was like, no, ma'am, this ain't like no warranty thing. It ought to be. It ought to be. It ought to be. Because 5000 y'all can't, can y'all put the same one back in? They're like, nah, we can't. Boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. And so... You know, I'm thankful that I actually had the funds to get everything done. And still, we have a life and we can still go out and enjoy ourselves. But God dang, I don't owe you my money that way, though. But a mama got to do what a mama got to do. So, uh, after all of that, like, we still going to do the MRI next coming up. So, the next thing is dental. So, we went to the dentist. He's been going to the same dentist that I've been going to, but guess what? Somebody went home during the summer with his godmother and his nana, and you know them new generation grandparents. They get them kids whatever they want, so he got a cavity. One cavity, one freaking cavity and won't no dentist office in texas touch him talking about we don't touch special needs kids we take we send them to cook's children and they put them to sleep and do the surgery so they medicine there it's just a little sedation they put in the cup just to calm the kids down but that's it they don't put them to sleep or anything cook's children have to do everything so here we go again back at cook's children we they, you know what they ought to go ahead and put shana and carter name on the wall up in there and i own special room the way we be up in there so so that's coming up May 17th for his dental. So what they're going to do, they're going to do some x-rays. They're going to put him to sleep. They're going to make sure every single thing that's going on with his mouth get fixed in that one time. Because we ain't coming back. We ain't trying to come back. Not on some on-purpose stuff. And then we see the neurologist again up in May to follow up and see about this MRI test. And then we're going to go from there. Y'all know I pretty much always post on social media anyways um following his doctor's appointment because i know a lot of y'all follow me and y'all want to know what y'all nephew is doing baby he is all right do you hear him in there talking to himself on this cartoon no cartoons not that doggone good <laughs> but anyway say keeping him content while making y'all this video so just hold on and push through it with me so this past year i really got back into reading oh my goodness i've been reading so many books i had a, i actually got a homegirl then actually we've been reading the same book and talking back and forth so i really like that almost like a book club type of thing but it's only two of us so that works too it doesn't matter it works so uh we've been reading some books and stuff so i'm hoping that you know we get to read a lot of good books this year some of the books have been good and you know some of them have been luxury 
tripping lately. Yeah, I'm like, God, what was this out the thinking? But, you know, that's the process of reading books and finding stuff. And, you know, going through the books, it seems like I'm kind of taking something away from each book that have you kind of thinking in life, in life situations, relationships, and uh, just education-wise, you know, just taking stuff back. So, been reading books. And let me see what else that went on in my life. Oh, Saturdays. Let me tell y'all about Saturdays. So Saturdays, y'all know I'm getting women together with kids, baby. And I'm choosing affordable stuff to do, different stuff to do, um, just to hang out, you know. And then different women, they coming together, meeting each other, exchanging social media, bonding over kids. And, you know, just staying positive, just having something to do with other mothers and also bringing your kids out. And, you know, to the point, my brother calling another girl sister, he's seeing her so much. And then, you know, his best friend is there, of course. So we just bringing different kids together. So today, I actually, last week, when we was at the beach up in Arlington, right? So we actually, I actually was out there and I actually met two women and then they had some kids and stuff. So I gave them my phone number. One of them is out of town today with her kids, but the other one showed up today. We was able to have a great time. It was $12 to get into the place and baby, these kids played. They played. She was like, oh my goodness. Thank you so much for inviting me and everything. And I love it. Love it. Love it so much. She's an awesome person. Great personality. I got to know her a little bit today, guys, you know, so we share show some media and then of course going forward i'm gonna still share some places and give the women you know if y'all want to show up and stuff like that you know so it's an awesome feeling to be able to get some women and children together and we share different stories and especially when it's easy to talk about life and different stuff like that and then you learn stuff about people and then also when i know something i'm able to share that information if they know something they're able to share the information so at the same time we bond in with our kids we spend the time what got me getting up because mommy 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 stuck he under the cover playing high and gonna see thomas and he stuck i walk all the way to the door he take it off Blah, nah ain't nothing getting up here calling me and thomas and you stuck you ain't stuck you ain't nothing now he just literally ran from the front door all the way back to the room just running real fast like one of them creepy folks in the movie or something but guys so like how i was saying you know just meeting different women and you know you know having that personality where i can approach people and you know and get their phone numbers and change social media and that's just pretty much how it go with me getting women together bonding with kids on the weekend finding affordable nice stuff to do you know why me and my son hanging out it's to the point now if i don't text people are like hey so what you and your son doing this saturday because i know y'all doing something fun so what y'all doing we need some ideas and you know people be wanting to do stuff with their kids but they just don't know what to do or where to go and you know so i'm happy that i'm able to get them in places they can share with their friends you know i know one person uh one girl she's like oh bring my husband here we're gonna be a good we're gonna have a good time here and i was like oh that sounds great you know so sharing those hidden in the wall spots that most people don't even know about and you know sharing it and just seeing everybody come together and laugh so i'm getting ready for an event i'm gonna buy everything first before i invite everybody over to my house but i got some ideas y'all about uh the kids in the backyard and playing and stuff and me hosting so i did i have hosted a couple people in my house already but this is the big one i'm talking about grilling I'm talking about food, baby. I'm gonna get them some of my food, and y'all know I be cooking, baby. And I'm a, oh, you know, and it's different when you feed them, baby. Yeah. So I'm gonna feed them. I'm gonna have some kids snacks. I got some idea. I can't tell y'all everything just in case they see this video. Cause when they walk through, I need them to be surprised. I'm talking about some arts and crafts, some water fun. So baby, they best to come ready. You know what I'm saying? Come ready with their kids and just enjoy themselves. And you know, it could be we doing it. Then I got some ideas set up for the backyard. When I buy my projector, I'm talking about chill spot. Got the projector on the garage the way everything already perfect in the back or my fence because it can go either way. But I'm thinking more so the garage. But I'm talking about movie night. So I got some planning to do and I got some things rolling in my head. 
you know, so I've really got used to Texas, you know, being here since 2017, Miss Texas is home now. So, you know, it's all about just be being, uh, you know, bringing friends and different people I meet together and we just enjoy my space, enjoy our space, you know, kind of like trying to think, I think that's almost everything. Um, I lost my grandfather a couple weeks ago, so I went back home for that. Y'all already know I don't go back home unless I really got to. It's just not the same no more. I'm used to pulling up to my mama house you know her standing out the door waiting on me to pull up her calling me every hour you hear you hear yeah you hear you never grow up as a adult from your mama you always a baby so she always gonna be worried about you so it's just not the same no more uh my grandfather he was 102 amazing man amazing family if you checked out my facebook you know you got to see the obituary uh, about his life all the amazing kids and i'm really really thankful for my dad's side of the family amazing 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 if you ever met a white side baby you already know we some great people we some great people so he lived the honorable amazing life so i went back home and got to spend time with family friends you know i got to see my dad i got to see my sisters I haven't got to spend time with them in a very very long time so it was a good feeling but baby i was ready to come back home too it's always sad feelings when i'm back up in arkansas and i got to spend time with my nephew i got to see my sister Oh, did I leave that part out? I did. Y'all know that little video back then when I was talking about my siblings and stuff. Y'all know me, baby. I am a forgiving woman. I be mad in the moment. But I am a forgiving person, and I know that uh, sometimes with my personality, people be like, girl, please, somebody do a certain type of thing. But for me, you know... Um, it, my whole entire life, i always been about forgiving and different stuff. And I ain't gonna freaking forget, but I ain't gonna forget. I might swivel and move a little different, but baby, I ain't forgot. But I do forgive, you know. So, uh, me and my sister, we are back talking. You know, I get to see my niece and my nephew. It's all about the kids. And, you know, I get to talk to my sister and stuff, you know, check in on her, see how she doing, see how life going. So, that's been that. Um, of course, my brother Darius, he got shot. Before he got shot, remember, I was really like, screw everybody. You know, screw, you know, I took care of him, stepped up when he got shot. Even though, even before he got shot, we just talked a little bit. But everybody know when mama died, I became the mama. I became the mama everybody so i guess i gotta take care of everybody i guess y'all know i just had to get out of my little mad moments and say but it was kind of pissing me off but you know when it comes to a funeral when it comes to losing somebody in high break everybody is going through something and a lot of people put their anger in the wrong places and me on the other end i'm just looking like baby y'all better get y'all stuff together the type of stuff so you know i had to sit down chill and just be like you know god made me this person that i am a forgiving person an understanding person and a reasonable person so you know like i said i don't forget but i do forgive and for the better of everybody it's always better if i just be always be the bigger person up in certain situations and everybody know i love my niece and my nephew and me and my sister was close before everything so we can't just let you know one love fall out just in our relationship where i don't get to talk to my niece and nephew no more why is my yes you what you scared of baby huh what is it baby yeah he keeps saying mama mama, mama. i told y'all he be saying my mama he don't even want that he up in there under the cover you know i gotta be spider-man i gotta be batman i gotta be everybody and i guess i'm supposed to be the ghost now i'm supposed to go up in there and snatch the cover off of him so i'm gonna go in there and play with him in a second but he ain't gonna want to play with me in a second because i'm about to wash into his hair so he really ain't want to play then he be like mommy sleepy mommy sleepy he gonna be sleepy then when it's time to do his hair huh <laughs> So guys, I think that's it. I talked about my brother, my family, um, you know, my son, me. Um, I really think that about sums up the time since uh I've been here, you know, other than me still decorating the house. Um, I got plants, of course, got my green thumb going on, plants all over the thing, plants outside. So, you know, the goal was to move in, get settled, start with one, one room, and then kind of go all over the house, you know, moving in. Basically, I had enough furniture, decoration, and it was just all about just making it a home. So, I finally got to the front, the porch. Um, I haven't did the backyard yet, so we're going to say that last. And I'm thinking about artificial grass because...
because baby, we tired of cutting up over here. And then I got a one patch in the front of my yard with this Texas heat. It just don't grow, baby. That thing is dead and brown up on one side. It's like I got half grass, half dirt. I don't know what's going on down there. I just don't mean, baby, I just mind my business now. So I'm thinking about artificial grass because baby, this Texas heat is just burning this grass up. And let me tell y'all, at first, the grass was green and perfect, y'all, until I got a $200 water bill, baby. Fort Worth told me that they some kind of uh, reserve water spot or whatnot. Y'all know I ain't no nothing going into it <laughs> buying the house. Not about the water and stuff. So you can only water during certain times. And then I don't like their times because... I, I ain't got time to be trying to water no grass before 5 o'clock, baby, in the morning. At that time, I'm getting up at I, too early in the morning trying to get dressed. I can barely see trying to eat breakfast, trying to feed him, trying to dress myself, dress him. And then we're trying to get out the house so he can make it to daycare and I can make it to work on time. I ain't studying no grass that early in the morning. So I call myself trying to be smart and put the sprinkler system out there. They caught me. They caught me, y'all. Got a little $200 water bill. So I'm like, man, screw this dog on grass. And then that one half died and the other one survived. And I'm like, man, uh, we got to do artificial grass. So that's what I'm going towards artificial grass. Um, about a man. <laughs> well, I come back to that one later on. We will talk about that one later because you know every time I get to talk, talk, talking, them they start messing up. So let let's just see how this one go. You know, let let let's see how this one gonna go. And then we gone because y'all know me. <sighs> We just gonna say it's me, cause baby, this dating world is something else. We something else. People, you know, they, they just get on my nerves. Everybody just get on my nerves. I'm be talking to the same person, but everybody get on my nerves. You know, I have some good days, some bad days. Maybe today a bad day since I ain't seen them. Okay, maybe maybe today a bad day since I ain't seen them and I don't want to talk about them. But maybe today a bad day. But we just, we just gonna leave that in the air until I get married. Okay, so let let's not talk about nobody until. <laughs> Until I get married, <laughs> I don't even want. I don't even know about the engagement because you still got to make it through the engagement part once you get the ring and stuff. So let, let's talk about that part later, okay? <laughs> but other than y'all, it was great talking to y'all, and hopefully through healing and through these videos, I can get back a little piece of me on the content creator part. And I hope y'all enjoy y'all day.